hang on to your cookie. It's a couple of degrees hotter where they clear cut the area, roughs up the air. Looks like the moon on a bad day. Looks like money to me. Shit me now, would you? Got a light? Who are you? Polly. Never go into the woods without matches. Thank you, Polly. I'll remember that. Am I in the right place? Do you know who I am? Kenota Magewe Nene, you're the man who talks for us. Follow me. Come on.
What does this mean for your people? What's next? What's next? You okay, Eugene? You fuck. Where's Wilf? Your fucking white ass cars did this, you fucking white mouth! You lying mouth! Go! Thanks, pal. You cook! Fuck! Mr. McGuire, do you intend to appeal? Where's Wilf, Tom? Mr. McGuire, do you intend to appeal? You said we'd win. I said that we had a chance. Do you mind? Where's Wolf? Tom, I said we had a chance. You still get paid when you lose? Wolf is here somewhere. these people. My name is Peter McGuire. I'm a lawyer from Toronto, and Wolf Red Wing is a good friend of mine. Then tell them to back off. <laughs> tell them they lost. I'll have your badge. <sighs> Hello, white man. Hello, Indian. How are you? I'm okay. I'm sorry, Wilf. I didn't expect this. I have to go back. I have to appeal immediately. We'll beat him. Just make sure you gather your people together so there's no confrontation. No violence. Don't worry, we'll be all right. Do you have a vehicle? Sure do. Give me a ride to the airport? Absolutely. This way. lost a native rights case that's been front section news for the last month. How do you feel? A little sick to your stomach? The complaint was based on the impact of a road, not native rights. Ah. Uh. Judge didn't care that the road will only be used to cut Indian trees. Any further comments, Mr. McGuire? Nice road. Mr. McGuire? We intend to appeal. You'll drive me to the airport, thank you very much. We'll be in Toronto tonight, and by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll be in conference on the application. Hip, hip, hooray. What? I said you're not going to win, so why bother to appeal? Is that what you said? Well, I don't know that we're not going to win. Why'd you bring me here? I need five minutes. My plane. Call another taxi. We would like to know what plane. 
Yeah, yeah, the court may rule in your favor, rules. sir, but do you think that the, the, the Indians are going to rule in our favor? Do you consider this a major victory? Victory, victory. What's all this talk about victory? I mean, did our baseball team play today and did we win? I mean, I should know. I coached it our entire time. I don't know. Seriously, this has not been a competition. We've been in here the last six months. We've been listening to all sides of the issue, and we've been hearing people's needs, desires, and now we've met them all, and justice has been done. Okay. That's all I have to say at this time. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Peter, what are you doing? You're not thinking of talking to my client, are you? Peter, that's not something that's going through your mind, is it? Peter, I think Mr. McGuire is a little confused. Our victory, his we loss, haven't Peter. We have have we? Mr. McGuire and I are going to discuss some things. Somewhere across a crowded court? Aren't we, Mr. McGuire? We're going to meet Bud Ricketts. Peter. Filthy industrialist. This is not the time, nor the Where's place. Where's your halo, Mr. McGuire? Keep it in my briefcase, Excuse which is on me. your road where your machinery is destroying the forest. Stop the construction until I've had a chance to file for an appeal. There's no reason for people to get arrested or hurt. Listen, if I'm not given leave to appeal, slash away. What do you think I'm going to say to this? We're talking three weeks What do you think I'm going to say? You're going to say no. And then I'm going to appeal to your uh, sense of decency. No. Sure you are. Fair play? Yes, of course, fair play. Why terrorize people? Careful, McGuire. You'll get more accomplished I've with native cooperation. I've waited six months to get that road cut. Yeah. Six months to get to the trees I need to keep this mill at full capacity and keep the town in full employment. Now, what do you think I'm going to say to your cooperating Indians? Well, you know what I'm going to say. So why, in fact, are you here? In fact, perhaps if I was representing a band of cooperating Indians, I'd want to keep up appearances, too. I never begrudge a man that's living, McGuire, so file your appeal and collect your fee, but don't ask me to play your fool, huh? Thank you very much. John. Peter, this was really improper. Really. You guys are working overtime here, aren't you? Hi, Donna. Sorry to call you at home, but uh, I'm going to be delayed another day. So you're going to have to cancel my appointments for tomorrow. Well, you're just going to have to try. I'm meeting with the uh, head of the band council. Well, just do what's to be done, okay? Listen, listen. Try to cover for me, all right? Great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Plant manager Bud Rick. My concern in all of this has always been for the local people, the workers, their wives and children, jobs and mortgage payments. Everything has been up in the air. Well, some knee-jerk environmentalists from the South, these lawyers, pencil pushers, get a nice big fat contract like this. They do their job, win or lose, they're gone. Uh, they use more paper than anybody. Nine protesters were arrested. Why didn't they arrest you? Well, I'm six foot five. I'm too big to fit in a cruiser. <laughs> Maldives are lazy kind of guys, eh? They were regional police. All police are Maldives. Well, you were right not to get into a fight with them. Yeah, those white guys might have done some serious damage.
you have a phone in your car in Toronto? Uh-huh. Well, I don't have a phone in my truck. No. Anytime you need a ride somewhere. Just light a fire, white man. I could fry some bread. Oh, thanks. I think, uh, we may be beaten on this one, Ruff. Yeah, uh, it's just a long battle. We haven't won yet. An appeal might succeed. No, it won't. One more time, Wilf, you lose again. It might be one long battle, your forests, your rivers, your lakes, one long fight, but I'm sorry, Wilf, you'll lose again. And I don't see any great shining hope at the end of your tunnel. Somebody has to pay. Somebody has to hurt. People like me have done you no good. I failed you. Who do you feel bad for? Us or yourself? Give it back to me. Good. The sweat ceremony is to purify yourself. Give you an insight. Into what? Yourself. To help you find out what you really want. But don't be afraid. Of what? Of yourself. Big witch, man. It'll be dark to remind you we are in the womb of Mother Earth. And we are naked as in birth.
okay. Oh. Say a prayer. What? What do you see? What prayer? What you want. Look inside for what you really want. So, what does a man who talks for us do for us? Uh, he, uh... We, uh... We have met. Yeah. Yes, uh... <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm your lawyer. I'm the, uh... The man who, uh... I'm Peter McGuire. Uh, man who talks for you. And what has Peter McGuire done for me lately? You lost your case against the mill. Oh, yeah. So what does he do for us next? <laughs> Blow the place up. Okay. <laughs> Tie the mill manager up and uh, skin him alive. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a good idea? Arthur, he wants to ride to town with us. Why not?
So, where are you from? Recently? All right. Are you Jibway? Nope. Cree? Same thing. No, they're not. No? Nope. Well, you know about these things? Well, don't think I'm completely ignorant about the native cultures. I've read quite a few books on them. Books. Literature. You know, the white man makes me laugh with his writing. Hmm. Well, the earlier Ron didn't laugh. They thought writing was magic. Is that a fact? You know, us Indian folks have an oral tradition. I know that. So the man who talks thinks he knows things. But do you really know our oral tradition? That's oral tradition. You're a bit tiresome, aren't you? Shut up, you stupid. Shut up! Hello. Gnarly room. So, uh, let's do it. What? What were we talked about? Listen, Arthur, uh... I'm very tired. Maybe we can talk about this tomorrow, huh? What's all that? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Anything. <laughs> uh, I really want to get some sleep, so if you don't mind. Oh, I forgot. Arthur's tiresome. You know they ripped up half a mile of road today? You could help me kidnap the plant manager. What? What? Bud Ricketts. That's a good idea you had to blow up the mill. Oh. And was I, um, <laughs> was I serious about that? That's what you said. But it wouldn't work. I don't have any dynamite. Huh. Well, too bad. But we could skin him. We could put him through his debarking machine. You know, maybe if a guy thinks he cuts down our trees, that somebody will cut him. And he'll worry. <sighs> That'd be something, eh? You and me, we can make Bud Ricketts worry. Oh, 
What do you say, Peter McGuire? What do you say to that? You want him quiet? Okay, go. Tell him that the noise is bothering you. Be polite and see where it gets you with that scum. Notice, but I've been banging on the walls. You guys are making a lot huh? of noise. You guys are making a lot of noise. Who else? Yeah, and I'd like to get some sleep. So if you wouldn't mind, maybe you could keep it down. You know, I wouldn't want to call the cops. Oh heavens, no! Uh, but let's get a second opinion here. Who thinks we were being loud? Now let's vote, eh? Freeze your half the cheese. Yeah, hey, stop! I'm getting the hell are you? Okay, okay. Look, it's cool, huh? Party's over. I know you. No, you don't know me. Hey, hey, we don't know you. Look, get him out of here. Everything's cool. Party's over, all right? Oh, I remember you. You are the superior fucking race. Stop this. I just wanted it quiet, huh? Mm. Okay, everything's quiet! Everything's cool. It's done. Hey, you got that right. Okay, this is this has nothing to do with me, right? This has nothing whatsoever to do with me, okay? Tape them up. Well, you wanted them quiet. <laughs> or should I just slit their throats? Better shut them up. Okay, okay. The superior fucking race. No. No? No. You've been lying to me all this time? Leave her alone. Oh, 999, my ninja. Don't hurt the good lady. Shit through the walls. Superior fucking good looking white race. Just partying shit through the walls. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Talking, partying all over the earth. Just good looking shit through the walls. There. Shut up real good, huh? Quiet. We've done a good job. One more thing. Wait, wait, wait. Don't. Don't do that! Okay.
Now let's do some real work. You and me. This is Tom Starblanket's truck. He's a good friend of mine. He wouldn't want anybody hurt. Do you think if I cut off your little whistle, he'll get mad at me? <laughs> Relax. What are we doing here? Bud Ricketts? How do you know he'll come here? Don't do this. Well, don't you hate him? I thought you did. I do, but this... No. I thought you really hated him. I'm going to appeal. I am. I can beat him in court. Here he comes. Violence will accomplish nothing. Nothing, you understand? No, just who are you lying to? you should worry about. Just get yourself out of here, quick. Don't worry about my car. Look what he did to my car. You bird brain. Where'd you get your license? In a chip bag, you jerk. You beetle brain jerk. What the hell are you doing? Now? McGuire, what the hell's going on here? Sight. Oh, damn it. You are now. What are you going to do? I'm going to kill him. No. I'm going to scalp him. I could scalp him and be a real engine. I should be a real engine, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? This can't happen, Wilf. We're talking kidnapping and assault here. Arthur has come to do this. And he'll be in big trouble for it. And he's not the only one, Wilf. He'll be in serious trouble, too. <sighs> okay, listen. No one's been hurt. Cut the tape and it's all over. All right? I'll forget the whole thing. Listen to me. I have been. So stop before it's too late. No. Put a stop to this. The influence of an elder can be overrated. Someone has to pay. I'm your friend. I'm your lawyer. I work for you. What in God's name are you doing? Where's your daughter? I need a good fuck. Stop this, you hear me? Give her a good fuck and then do her with a screwdriver. Remember that? Stop it! Oh, you hate me, don't you? You hate me so much you're scared shitless. See, a man tears the wings off a bird, and he hates it because it can't fly. And then it scares him because he doesn't know what it's good for. Lying there, flopping around on the ground like a fish. 
McGuire, what on earth is he talking about? And what are you doing here? I'd help you if I could. I would. Talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. You want a job at the mill? Is that what this is about? Talk to me! You look like a fish talking to a fucking oil tanker. I've got friends you can talk to. Oh, you mean like doctors? And what are you going to say to a doctor? The die got a bloody nose, and this murder and mad engine needs to be in a loony bin. We can talk. Talk to my buddy. I'm not your buddy. He's the man who talks for us. I'd rather talk to you. Talk to him. What the hell are you talking about? And say what? I've got nothing to say. Well, neither do I. Wilf, where are we going? Get in. We have to know. Get in. That's tradition. Well, this is not right. Jesus, Murphy. Sit down. What happened to the last guy you lost a court case to? Me and you had fed them to their dogs. You're in on this, aren't you? Sure, all the way. You're quite the loser, I hear. One good cause after the other, I hear. Excusing the pun, but we're in the same boat. Right now, I'm the only friend you got. Can you handle your Indian? Wow. I am filled with confidence. Maybe three or four miles away. Buzz gets kidnapped, and man, oh man, keep those trees coming down. Ah, uh, the sniper. Snipe away. Arthur, you hear those cats? Those are my cats out there. Think they'll take a break for your funeral or just go with double cream in their coffee? You can't catch fish that way. Yeah, well, just between an Indian and a white man, how would you catch a fish? I wouldn't with my hands tied behind my back. Well, then it's a good thing we already got one. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? You don't know a thing about me. I think you're thinking about somebody else. Like, you, you got yourself the wrong guy here. You made a mistake. 
Feel the fish. You've got to clean it first. It's Indian style. Scales, guts and all. It's not Indian, that's lazy. Like Iroquois. Lazy, I said it's lazy. I've cooked fish. I'm an outdoorsman, I know fish. I know the bush. You, you cut me loose and I'll do it for you. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. If I am, in fact, who you think I am, what, in fact, do you want? I want Indian peoples to be happy, eh? What? You could turn off a mill and you don't. What, you mean just switch it off like, like a light bulb or something? Arthur, it's not that simple. That mill is the lifeblood of this community. It feeds a thousand people and their families. If I switch it off, where are they gonna Arthur, go? Arthur, don't bother talking to him. He doesn't want to understand. Shut up! I am talking to Arthur here about what Arthur wants to talk about. So, Arthur, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the trees. We're planting new ones. You cut more than you plant. No, we don't. Okay, okay, okay. You stop using paper products, and we'll stop cutting your trees. You commit crimes, admit it. And you reap the benefits, just admit it. Kidnapped. There's two of us. There's, what the there's a man going over on there. Here? He's tied me. up. Tied up. Are you all right? <laughs> We're doing a hunt around here. Who's it look like, for Christ's sake? We're trailing the moose. Have you seen our moose? Do I look like a fucking moose, Elmer? Oh fuck. Yeah, right. Fuck. This is Indian land, Chief. Actually, I don't think this is Indian land. Well, I'm a fucking Indian. That doesn't make it Indian land. OK, listen. You guys have a vehicle? You must have a vehicle. Look, I'm from Chicago. Uh, you live around here? Take us out of here with you. We've been kidnapped. There's a man over there. He's confused. Yeah, I think we're all a little bit confused. My name's Peter McGuire. I'm a lawyer from Toronto. We're doing a ceremony. Are you listening to me? I'm a lawyer. We're visiting our mother. Let's get the fuck out of here. What mother? Is his mother my mother, huh? It's a ritual, yeah? It's confusing. Confusing shit. Look, look, I got a business card. Here. Sorry we uh, upset your day. Here you This asshole's shooting at you, trespassing on your land, and you're going to settle for a few measly bucks? You don't call me an asshole. That's something I don't say. Okay? Are we okay? It's not okay. There's two of us. We've been kidnapped. Don't you understand? Okay. Disappoint me, Arthur. Why are you doing this? What's this all about? Well, you want to go with those guys? We'll catch up. You'd shoot me. Maybe. Might shoot you if you stay, too.
What happened? Who were they? Where did they go? What happened? Shut up! Cut the tape. Eh? Cut the tape off him. You heard me. Let him loose. This has gone far enough. You let me go, and the company will give you what you want. Oh, yeah. That's not why he's done this. Let me go, and the company will give you whatever it is you want, within reason. Arthur, he missed the point. He's never going to understand. Let him loose. Apache style. Arthur, you listening to me? Enough's enough. Cut the rest. You don't know nothing. I listen to you. You think I give a fuck what you say? Your words, your papers, your limp white dick? You think, you think you know what I think. You think you know me. Well, fuck you. Let's get fucking serious here. Let's get things done. <laughs> He's a man of action, is our Arthur. He and I understand each other. <laughs> I don't know where you fit. <laughs> oh, dear. Choosing your side so conscientiously. <laughs> Could we call this a uh, miscalculation? <laughs> So what now, McGuire, now that you're free, huh? No rope, no tape, now that you're free. Huh, McGuire? Now that you're free. Arthur! Indians give me the creeps. It's like they know something we don't. We got things to talk about, Chief. You and I. There's things here I don't understand. So enlighten me. Tell me what my mill has destroyed. Tell me about uh, 
your traditional way of life. Tell me about freezing to death. That was tradition, wasn't it? Tell me about your wars. Tell me about your old people. Tell me about your children starving winter after winter after winter. Tradition. The mill has given you roads, transportation, medical services, stores, schools, decent houses, sewage, plumbing. Reserve oh. plumbing don't work. Well, get it fixed, Chief. It's free. Put your bottle on the table and pick up the phone. The phones don't work. Oh, so it's the phones, too, is it? Busted. Everything's busted. Oh, poor Arthur. Poor, poor Arthur. Shut the fuck up. Don't you use that language on me. From Arthur, I expected, but don't you use that language on me. You're starting to look like one of them. You like that? Hoy, I'm an Indian. Oh, look at me, Mom. I got an identity, too, eh? He's going to kill you. Lucky you. You get to defend in another losing cause. What'll the government pay for our Arthur's defense? Another installment on your Porsche? And the government will want it to look good, the justice seen to be done, and it'll be worth a nice buck. Yes, sir. Lucky you. Mm-mm. Another lovely losing cause, and you socking a Porsche from the taxpayer's tit. Working them. Well, you wanted them hurt, right? Skin alive is what you said. Well, I am your friendly neighborhood cruel engine. Maybe they can escape. They always do escape, wake up dawn from what they do. The bad ones, the terrible ones with their chainsaws and their log skitters, they always wake up dawn from what they do. Stop it! I'm cauterizing the wound. Or do you want him to bleed to death? I don't want him to bleed to death. You think I'm cool? You'll forget about the trees and the kids born stupid and the judges who laugh. You'll forget! And Arthur will still be cool. 
Stop it. Stop me. Is this your revenge? You know that uh, soldiers used to play catch with the breast of Navajo women? <laughs> and they were slippery and hard to hang on to. And the soldiers, they'd all laugh. <laughs> Arthur's cruel, and I forget why. Well, it's time for them to pay. How much? More than this. This is enough. Enough? This is nothing. This is only one man's leg. God damn you, come cheap. How did you know where we were? You okay? I don't know. The man has a rifle. He's out there. Why don't we just get the hell out of here? Why don't you fucking listen to me? Shit! It's the Indian guy that's supposed to be dead. That's what you think, isn't it? Get Ricketts and let's get the fuck out of here. Somebody had to pay. What are you talking about? You dreamed anger, and your anger is real.
We just... We can't leave. I would like to tell you a story. I'm not interested in the story. About Waseka Jack. What? The deceiver. Waseka Jack was told to teach man how to live in the right way, how to get along with the creatures and the forest. But Waseka Jack made quarrels. He stained the ground with blood. And they told him no more, but he didn't listen. <laughs> What's the point, Will? Huh? Is there a point? Well, Shaker Jack had to be stopped. There was too much blood. He had become a victim of his own stupid ways. He had lost himself. He had to be stopped. I want some soup. 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 <laughs> soup. You mind? Can you do that? Beef barley. Hot soup and crackers. Stop. In little packages. How do I stop it? How? The influence of an elder is often overrated. Don't give me this bullshit, Wilf! How? Or tomato. I don't mind tomato. How do I stop it? Toast. But the dream will end. Toast with the crust cut off, OK? It's a nightmare. OK? It's a fucking nightmare. My mother, your mother, the earth.
We need a sweat. Jesus Christ. We have to purify ourselves. This man is in shock. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's never going to make it. We have to purify ourselves for what's coming next. What is coming next? What we talked about. You and me, remember? What's the point of all this? Tell me. Let's get him to a hospital. When you use a knife, you gotta get it right between the ribs. If you don't, you just rip the skin, the guy bleeds, and he gets pissed off. Oh, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I'm going to cut my fingers off and make a necklace for your fat Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Fuck your kingdom! You're gonna hang here with the crows and watch the earth as it dies. You're gonna hang there and have a little chat with your god about what you killed. God. It's your god. Your god that shames this earth. <laughs> When you bloody well hang here until you do. And then you can watch your goddamn machines cut it all down!
silver birch or a deeper where still the mighty Green lakes and rocky shores. Ah.
dead. Nice fire, white man. It's time to go back now. other Indian? What happened to him? He's dead. He drowned. But he can be back. Oh, thank you, Polly. I don't need it anymore. 